What's going on everyone, Nathan here. So in today's video, I wanted to go over what I carry around in my backpack every single day as a mechanical engineering student in college. So as an engineering student, there's a few specific items like that I carry around with me that might differ slightly from that of other majors. And I wanna put it out there like, what I have with me works for me specifically. It might not work for everyone or other people might have other things that they bring with them or that they need, but what I carry around with me has never let me down and I always feel prepared for classes or whatever else I have during the day. So with that being said, let's get into the video. And the first place to start obviously is the backpack. And this is the Alpha Elite Voyager Pro backpack. So this backpack right here was released about two and a half years ago and it's currently out of stock on their website. So I wouldn't go try looking it up just yet. Maybe they'll restock it in the near future. But I don't know if y'all been able to tell, but I'm a huge fan of Alpha Elite products and clothing. Um, I'm wearing the shirt right now. And I discovered them back in like 2016, like when I started my whole fitness journey and the creator of Alphalete, Christian Guzman, he's just a huge inspiration for me. I really respect the hard work and grind that he puts in. So to me, it's more than just a company. Not only that, they make amazing clothing. It's so comfortable, super stylish, fits the body well. Um, so that's pretty much why I have this backpack. I used to be like a huge gym rat a couple years ago. Still in the fitness, there's not quite as much, but that's why I have this backpack. I'm sure there's better ones out there. It's just what I have right now. And it has been really comfortable. It's really breathable. It's 20 liters, so it's big enough to hold everything that I have inside of it. I like it, it's very minimal. I like the black. The straps are super comfortable. I don't get overly hot in it. And it's just held up well over the past two and a half years. It doesn't look super bad or beat up. The only area where it does though are the water sleeves right here, the mesh. and. I'm not gonna blame it on Alphalete. I really do blame it on myself because right here, let me get it. I fit this, which I bring with me everywhere. So this is the 40 ounce iron flask and it's just a huge water bottle. And I used to put it here. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me put it in the side pouch. So this is what I did for as long as you can see. And you know, this backpack just wasn't made to hold a 40 ounce water bottle. And I've actually worn out both sides, so you can see <laughs> the other side right here. And my water bottle now falls through, which explains why my water bottle is so dinked up and just, it's messed up. But, so I pretty much, I try to get, and I pretty much consistently get about a gallon of water in a day, and that's just a huge thing. I just feel good when I do that, and I know it's healthy for me. So that's also what I bring with me everywhere I go. I always bring my water bottle. Um, I should probably get a new one. Like these aren't that expensive. They're like a cheaper hydro flask on Amazon, but I haven't yet. So that's also another thing I carry around with me all the time is my water bottle. So because these have ripped now, the side pouches, I now keep it in the main compartment. And depending on the day and what I have for the class, my main compartment will change slightly. So if I'm just like going about or whatever, then I'll actually put my water bottle in here. But if I have like something more specific, like so one of my classes currently, I do need a textbook. Oh, I know, right? Textbook. I actually had to like get one. This right here is my textbook. And in my class, we're literally going like page by page. Anyway, I digress. But if I want to, or if I need it for that class, then I put it in here and it takes up most of the room, but I can still fit my water bottle in there. But that's just for that one class. So the other thing that I have to like worry about, I guess, is packing a change of clothes when I go to the gym. So again, that also fits in there. It just fits in nice. Put my water bottle on the other side, close it up, and there. So usually, on like most of my days, like this is what I leave for class with. And then everything else in my backpack allows me to do work while I'm on campus. 
butt, so that's kind of it. So let me take that out. So one thing that I do really like about this backpack is that there are a lot of pockets and storage options in this. So right here in the main pouch, um, this top pocket right here, I have just a couple essentials, so let's open it up. So first off, I just have like a cleaning microfiber cloth. I think you always need it, especially with some of the other products that I do carry around with me. I am constantly using this and it's a lifesaver just cause like messy devices or like smudges on devices really bother me. So I like having this just to clean everything. Then I also have, this has gotta be like an eight year old lightning cable. I have like my initials on some tape on it. And I think it barely works, but it works. And I just keep that in here. You never know, like if you're on campus for like a long time, like long periods throughout the day, you might need to charge up your phone. And I don't think ever since I was 16 with my iPhone, the battery is as good as it used to be. So I do need this more often than not. So I like having that in my backpack as well. And then very specific to engineers, you're gonna need a graphing calculator. You're gonna need something with all the math you'll be doing. So I've had this one since high school. This is the TI-84 and I like it. You know, it's done me very well. It's color, it's not like too thick or anything like that. So I think every engineer, you need a graphing calculator. Whether you go Texas, the TI one, or you go Casio, you need something like this. So always bring this with you. You never know when your professor is gonna like make you take it out and do calculations in class, or just like if you're on some free time, trying to do some homework. This is super useful and handy. So besides that, that's pretty much all I keep in here, except I do have this like little pouch thing right here. So this actually came with my tripod that my camera's on right now, is to like protect the head of the tripod while traveling. But to be honest, what I usually use it for, if I'm traveling and I know like on campus, I'm gonna have some time to do some video editing, then I'll bring my mouse with me and I just put it in there and it fits perfect and I just like close it up and plop it in there. So it's just a little way to kind of like protect my mouse a little more. Again, I don't always bring it with me, but if I do, that's how I travel with it. And it weighs like nothing. It like takes up no space. So I always just <laughs> leave it at the bottom right down there. So moving on, let's go to the side pouch back here. And so I have like my main productivity devices. So the first one is my 14 inch 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro. So this is the base model. And I think that this is probably the best laptop for any student. Now, besides like the M2 Air, that's also a great option. But if you're like going to do some more like creative work or just want a little more powerful machine than the M2 Air, then this has gotta be the best bang for a buck. And even more so than the new M2 MacBook Pros, this thing is just great. It's not too thick. It's got a great form factor. The Magic Keyboard is awesome. It's got one of the best touch trackpads in the game. Apple's Force Touch trackpad is like known to be like the king standard of trackpads. The display is fantastic and I've done many videos featuring this. So I'll probably link like one of my most recent ones where I really go in depth on this. And I absolutely love this. It's probably like one of my favorite tech pickups I've ever made in my life. And this is plenty powerful for me to video edit on the go. And I love having that ability, just this, taking my little flash drive with me and I'm able to just completely edit, do any sort of work that I want to. So this is awesome, but I don't think it's necessary for engineering students. What I do think is necessary and what I really, really recommend all engineering students getting is some form of iPad. So this is just a complete game changer and I got this my junior year of college. Um, before that, I did have a Surface Book 2, which I used to write on the screen for but this completely changed up how I do homework, schoolwork, and how I like organize my life around school essentially. So instead of coming home and having to switch out different notebooks for different classes, having a whole bunch of like loose leaf paper everywhere, and just really annoying things that would get damaged during travel, everything is right here on this little, little tiny device and I always use like some sort of note app. Currently I'm using GoodNotes 5 and I've been using that for the past two years. Really enjoying that. It's just a great, great note taking app. Literally all of my notes are on this iPad. They're saved up, they're super organized. You have all different types of writing utensils on it. And not only that, but then you can even scan documents, upload them, you can submit homework files with your iPad. If you got like um, a two-in-one keyboard and case for your iPad, 
There you are, you can now do Excel spreadsheets, you can type papers very easily, you can access all your files on the cloud. I'm telling you, you have to get an iPad if you're an engineering student, especially with how many notes you take, and you're taking like math notes. So a lot of other majors, they can just get by with taking notes on their laptops, whether they use Notion or Word or something. But as an engineering student, you're gonna have to hand write math equations all the time. And just being able to write on this display, all of your notes saving up into like the same place, super organized. I can't stress it enough. I highly, highly recommend an iPad. You don't have to get the iPad Pro, which is what I have here. I didn't even mention that. This is the, the 2020 11 inch iPad Pro. I think even the iPad Air, the newer ones are fantastic options for students. Again, the second generation pencil, it just hooks on. I never lose it. I've like never lost it. <laughs> Knock on wood, I hope I don't. It's just, it's fantastic. Again, I literally can't stress it enough. If you're an engineering student, get yourself an iPad. It's gonna make whole everything about college so much easier and just more organized. So moving on to this back again, after I just blabbled on about the iPad forever, you need some sort of folder. And I highly recommend you get like a plastic folder, some sort of plastic material because the paper ones, they'll rip. If they get any sort of wet, then it'll just ruin the papers inside of it as well. Some sort of plastic will just last you years. I'm pretty sure I've had this one for three years now. Something plastic, invest in like a five or six dollar folder and just don't worry about the one or two dollar ones, I'm telling you. But what else, like a little tip I can also give you, always carry around some loose leaf paper, just some blank white printed paper. I always have around about 20 pages in here and like at the start of each semester, I'll just add a couple more. You never know when you're gonna need some extra paper, whether like your professor is like asking you to take some out for an assignment or like a pop quiz or something like that. Just writing down notes throughout the day. You might need this, you might not, but I'm telling you, it's always good to have it and whenever I do need it, I'm very glad that I have it here, so I just recommend that. And then on the right side, I always keep handouts, just anything like things given back to me throughout class. So that's kind of how like I organize my folders if I do need some or papers I get. And then the last thing that I keep back here is just like this cheapo like $5 mouse pad I got on Amazon like six years ago now. Um, I just keep it back there. Again, I always keep it back there because it just takes up no space. It weighs about nothing. And I pretty much use it for if I bring my mouse with me and I want to edit on the go. That's why I have that back there. So moving on to the front pockets here, this top one, I just keep my blue light blocking glasses in case I know I'm going to be like, you know, doing homework or looking at screens for a long period of time. I like to keep these in here and use them. Um, how do I look? <laughs> um, they definitely just help me like sleep later on in the night. I do notice when I'm wearing them um, versus not wearing them. And when I'm video editing for hours on end, these definitely do help me fall asleep later on in the middle of the night. So I do like carrying these with me just in case I want to throw them on. Then in the next pouch down here, pretty simple. I just have some pens, pencils, um, a couple of just one highlighter and also a couple Expo markers. So. I'm gonna go over why I have the Expo markers. The pens and pencils are pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna have quizzes and exams to take. I recommend just throw in like 10 mechanical pencils. Like you never wanna not be without a pencil, especially in college. So I always just have an abundance of them. Pens, same reason. You never know like when you need to sign something. And then highlighter, you might get a handout. You might have to like highlight or something. I don't know. I just carry this with me just in case. But the Expo markers, I highly recommend you picking up at least two different colors. And what I've used these for many times throughout college is to just study. So me and my friends, like we used to like get together and we would go to like the library or something where they have whiteboards and just working through math problems together with friends and peers, uh, especially on just like a whiteboard, having different colors, like do different problems with, make notes of different things. Like I can't tell you how many hours we spent working on just problems, math problems, different examples on whiteboards and just working through them together, figuring them out together, talking through the process. It really, really helped us all like pass our exams and get through like those tough engineering classes like dynamics. Thermodynamics was also very difficult, heat transfer. So I recommend just picking up a little package of two of them and then you'll have them to always be able to write with um, and study with your friends. So that's why I keep these all in my backpack. And then finally is like this front pouch right here. It's like magnetic um, and inside of it, I just kind of keep like miscellaneous stuff. So a lot of keys. So I have my car keys, I have, this is like my gym back at home to get into the gym to scan with. <laughs> 
I'm currently cat sitting my best friend's cat and actually after this video filming, I'm gonna go over there and uh, feed him. So that's what those are. Those aren't usually there, but I keep it just so I always have them with me with my backpack. Then I got uh, two different types of chapstick. It's cold around Syracuse, never know when you need it. And finally, I keep uh, my AirPods Pro 2 with me. Um, these are by far have been my favorite Truly Wireless headphones. I think these are a genuine, genuine upgrade over the original AirPods Pro. I think they sound better. I think they, the bass is a little more deep, a little more rich. Um, the noise canceling is actively like, it's, it's noticeable. It's noticeable how it actively like cancels more noise than the originals. And I love these to death. I love how they just seamlessly switch between all my Apple devices. And I just got like a little like silicon case on it. It's just to keep the whole like case clean. It comes off very easily. So I absolutely love my AirPods Pro 2. So the last thing, I actually kind of forgot it. It's right here. So I actually keep an Apple AirTag at the top of my backpack. It's got my initials NRL right there. And it's inside of a leather loop. And I like how it just looks. It looks a little classy with the leather, a little pop of color on the black of the whole backpack. So I know, I know someone can just come over and just like remove it. <laughs> like very easily just remove it and then take my backpack. I'm well aware of that, okay? I just, I like how it looks. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure it's dead. So <laughs> just being honest, I think it's dead. I just use it for the look. And I also got my initials on it, so hey. Whatever, it is what it is. So there's two more things I wanna just cover quickly about my everyday carry. So this is my old wallet I used to use all the time. And pretty much all I use it now for is to hold my dorm room key. So I know Syracuse is like barbaric. We have like room keys actually, nothing to like tap in. Um, just so I don't ever lose it and I always carry my wallet with me. I have it on like a little hair elastic and I tie it around the actual key itself, the keyhole. And then I leave it in my wallet. I always have it and I never lose it. So I have it just a couple like old like credit cards, maybe not even credit cards or just old like bank cards. Um, that's pretty much all I carry that for because all of my important cards and everything I keep in um, my Magback wallet. I've actually done a full review on this. It's a great wallet and now I've actually had it for, I don't even know, maybe close to eight months now. It's definitely showing its wear. It's starting to like peel and rip around the corners and edges but it does hold on very well and I really do enjoy it. It holds like my five most like important cards, uh, my student ID, my actual ID, a couple credit cards, and then I just keep a little cash in the back of it, a little $20 bill, you never know when you need that. And that is pretty much everything I carry with me. Again, depending on the day, if I have a textbook with me or if I just have uh, some workout stuff, I feel like this setup right here between my laptop, my iPad, the pens and pencils, the calculator, a charger if you need it, the little microfiber cloth to clean everything, and of course, the big ass water bottle. <laughs> um, it really is just everything that like I could probably need with me on campus throughout the day. So again, it's not a whole lot of stuff. Um, it's pretty much just the essentials and I've really learned to just like tailor things down and this is pretty much like all I could need. So I hope I was able to help you if you're also coming to college or if you're just trying to figure out what to carry with you throughout college from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I hope you're able just to learn something from this. So that's gonna be the video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe. And as always, have a great day, everyone. Cheers. Ugh, it's not the same.